Welcome to the next lesson of our tutorial series on how to make stack colors. For this lesson, we're going to be going over how to create the camera follow mechanic. Now to set up the camera, I've just taken the default camera that was already in my scene, and I've changed the transform a bit. You can set the camera view to be however you'd like, but I've done my best to replicate how it is in stack color. So I've set the position to 4.3 in the X, 4.36 in the Y, negative 1.56 in the Z. I've then set the rotation to 10 in the X and about negative 20 in the Y. Now there is one change that I've made from our previous video and that is with our platform. As you can see it's a little wider than it was before. So I've set the ground object to be 10 in the X scale. You'll then want to bump the walls out to 5.5 and negative 5.5 in the X position. You can then select the platform prefab and then override it by clicking on this drop down menu and clicking apply all. You'll then want to make sure that you stretch out the platform object in the Z scale so that you have some length to travel on. Now once you have your camera positioned where you'd like it to be, let's create our camera follow script. So here I have a new C Sharp script, which I've called camera stack color. And we'll go ahead and open it up in our coding environment. Now the variables that we need for this script is one serialized field of type transform called target and a float called delta Z. In the start function, all we have to do is set our delta Z equal to transform.position.z minus target.position.z. This will give us the distance between our player object and our camera object on the z-axis. The last line of code that we have to add to this script will be in the update function, and we're just setting transform.position equal to new vector 3. We're passing in transform.position.x for the first parameter, transform.position.y for the second, and target.position.z plus delta z for the z. This will make it so that our camera doesn't move on the X or Y axis, but it follows our target object while maintaining the starting distance between the target and this object. So once you have all this code, let's save it and go back to Unity. And all we have to do is select our camera object and then click and drag our camera follow script onto this object. We then just need to make sure that we set our target variable. And so we'll grab our player object from the hierarchy and drag it in there. Now before we click play, you might want to add a couple pickup objects to your scene so that in your game view you'll be able to see the relative movement of your player object. Now at this point I'll click play so that we can test out our camera follow script. So as you can see nothing's happening and so I'll select our player object and then I'll set is playing to true. And there you can see that we're moving and our camera is following our player object. Now that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the next lesson.